What's up, everyone? It is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and it's time for another palette mashup, girl. So today, we're gonna get into the, um, excuse me. We're gonna get into the, um, another Odin's Eye palette collection. I came up with looks for them every single day, like I told you I was going to, and I paired them with other Odin's Eye collabs, like I told you I was going to. So, what I'm gonna do is, Come show you the looks that I did all week on Instagram and then we're gonna recreate those. So I used the Flora Story palette and the Hella palette from Uden's Eye. This one was with Makeup Just for Fun and this one was with um Angie or Angelica here on YouTube. The Hella palette I, you can't get anymore and the, the Flora palette is actually sold out. I probably should have said in the other videos if the palettes were sold out or not. But I know this one is sold out because they posted it on their Instagram. So shout out to her for uh, selling out the palette. Let me show you what both of them look like on the inside, just in case you forgot what Angelica's looks like. All the collabs to me looked somewhat similar, which made it easier for me to come up with color combinations. Because when I'm going to work, I don't have time to be trying to think of really elaborate, colorful eye looks. But at the same time, y'all know I love colorful eye looks. So it's like, I like the fact that all the palettes like coincide and worked well with each other. Like this dark row down here made up for like the purple one here because I wanted it to be a little bit deeper. So I used Angie's palette to make it a little bit deeper. Then I used some of the greens in Angie's palette because the greens in here seemed like they were a little more on the cooler, ashier side. And I like a little more pigmented, if you will, because of my skin tone. But you know, like combining both these palettes together just made me, gave me a gorgeous, a stunning look. Plus, I got to add a pop of pink to it that made it kind of like a unique twist that I was um, liked about it. And makeup just for fun. And um, Angie actually liked my picture that I posted with the palettes. And I was like, yes. Yeah. So, here's what the look looks like that I came up with. If you're not following Gel Beauty 87 on Instagram, you should. Because y'all might want to <coughs> see some of these looks recreated. And then I can do that. So, that's what it looks like. I was like, yes. It was definitely giving. And I was living for it. Like... That's probably one of my um, favorite ones. I liked all the ones I did, but like the first one I did with Tina's palette and like the last one I did with Angie and um, Makeup Just For Fun's palette are, are definitely like my favorites. But if you're curious what's on my eyes right now, this is the Moonfall palette from Trial Cosmetics. Shout out to Beauty and the Frizz. She actually told me when the restock was coming, I was watching Dr. Ash and her makeup video. And I was commenting like, girl, I missed it. I'm over here sad and you know, just looking crazy and then uh, Kara commented down below she's like it restocks on the 28th at 10 o'clock I'm like say less girl say less thank you so shout out to Kara or else I wouldn't have this palette to make this gorgeous look and shout out to my friend Kevin for actually picking all the mattes that I used in this look I only picked the shimmers for the lid because I was showing him the palette when I was at work and I was like what should I do with this I don't know there's so many combinations and he was like I'm thinking this and this and this and I was like say less so that's how we got what's going on right here. So shout out to you, Kevin, honey, if you're watching this, because he he did all that. All I did was, you know, decide what combination to put them in. But he picked all my colors for me, and I think it looks fabulous. So there we go. But without further ado, let me go offline, get my life in order, and then come back with the eye, and then I'll show you how I how colors I picked out and how I did. I'll be right back, girl. Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all. So this is the last eye look of the Olden Side collabs that came out that I'm doing. So. I have the Flora palette here along, sorry, Flora Story palette alongside the Hella palette. Let me show you swatches and then we're going to get into what I did. So, as usual, the ones in the front are of the newest palette, the Flora Stories, and the ones in the back are of Angie's palette. So, I use these five out of here and then these five out of here. Sorry, what is it five or is it six? Yeah, yeah. So, I used ten shades out of the palette. Okay, let's put on some eyeshadow primer and get into it, girl. So I actually started off with the new palette for once. I've been alternating as far as like which shades I start with depending on what shade I need. But for the most part, it seems like I've been starting off with the um, new palette and then dipping into the old palette and so on and so forth, back and forth in it. But you know, I like that. I like being able to combine both of them and see what I can come up with. I might combine these with other, with the same old, with different old entire palettes next week just to see if I can get something different but I started off with the ones that had the matching color stories that were closest just because you know at the end of the day I do do my palette matchup when I'm getting ready for work and um time is of the essence like that man Tim said so we start off with the shade shroom in this palette um it's the one that's kind of ashier cool tone but 
does a good job of like covering up the eyeshadow primer for me and then I can just dip into all my other colorful shades so that's what we used here and I think it actually blends into my skin quite well considering that I mean I can see a little bit of um grayness underneath it but it's not like where it's ashy to the point where it's like girl you know you shouldn't put that on type shade so I could appreciate that because it's giving color but not giving um you look crazy for trying to put that shade on type color so I appreciate that Okay, so now we're going to go into the outer B shade. So I started off with Angie's palette and used the darkest shade in her palette. And then I went into the purple to lighten it up. So that's what we're going to do now. Now I'm at the home stretch of filming eyeshadow videos for the night. I got one more I need to film. So I can take all my new palettes home. I'm going to do the Rogue. I'm doing the Rogue palette with um the Dead of Night palette from Unearthly. That was the holiday release. And it looks really similar to this one. Oddly enough, I didn't show it in the video because I forgot and left it at home. But I haven't done my um reel, my story, sorry, my Instagram reels or my YouTube shorts for like the palette comparisons with that palette. So I'll be making sure I include it in there. But for right now, we just, you know, doing what we can with it. So that's looking pretty good on the outer V. So now we're going to go into the deepest purple shade in flora palette and just kind of dust it on top to make it a little bit brighter because it was looking a little deep and I wanted a little bit more purple undertone to go in it so I knew if I start off with Angie's at the darkest and patted the lighter one on that it would give me still vampiness but I'd still get some of the lightness I was looking for and it worked I don't like I'm surprised like I didn't do this look um I think on Wednesday and Thursday now I did this look Wednesday Monday I did um, Batty Bean and Tina, Tuesday I did Lauren and Annette, Wednesday I did this one, and then Thursday I did the one I'm going to do after this video. So I'm trying to keep them in order the way I do them too. Okay, so now let's go into the green shade. So I'm going to the green shade in, um, in Angie's palette. I'm going to dust that into the crease and kind of move it forward. So that looks good. I like how pigmented it was and how I didn't have to like dip in a whole bunch of times to get the color of the color. I'm feeling it. Now I'm gonna go into the pink shade in Angie's palette. Which works funky. I almost said um Tina's palette. Because she's sitting there in the background. I was like, no, no, we already did Tina's palette. I'm still living for Tina's palette after like it's been out for what like going on two years now but I'm, I still be want to use it so that's why I was excited these came out because I'm like I could pull it out again I think by next time doing a more pur pink purple and orange focus look when it comes to uh Annette and Tina's palettes but y'all can comment down below and tell me what you think of that because I already got looks in mind for next week for um some of the palettes, like I know I'm gonna do Tina and Angie's again. I'm Tina and um, Betty Jean's again, just because y'all know I love color. But I'm open for suggestions with the other palettes because I'm trying to figure out what to do with Annette and Lawrence next week because they're um, some in tone, but they have more of a um, Annette's has a little bit more depth to it than what's the faces. But I'm thinking about just trying to do like a neutral look with a pop of color. On lower lash line and maybe in a corner or something instead okay y'all so now let's cut the crease and start getting all these shimmers because i've got like two or three different shimmers to put on lid because i got one from each sorry i got three from each palette to put on the lid i was real extra with this little y'all i don't know what's going on with it but i was like we should be extra today like super extra huh like ridiculously extra today So, we're going to start with this deeper shade. So, I'm starting with the shade down here, this deepest one. That's the one that swatched from Angie's palette. And then I put the more um, pewterish purple shade on top of it. Then I start off with this shade, which is the darker um, bluish green 
on this part that you see up front and then we go into Angie's palette and take the brighter green and dip it on top and then I just take the two special shades in the corner here the white iridescent ones from each palette and that's what's in the very front part of the eye so again it's we're gonna start off with Angie's palette since it has the deeper tone to it and I didn't try to put it in too much of space because I mainly wanted the green in the space but it's like I still want to put this there because I thought it would be a nice transition with the eyes plus it matched with the coloring of the mattes so that's another reason I did it. So we're starting off with this right here as you can see it looks nice and stunning and sparkly and extra and everything and then we lightened up a bit by dipping into makeup just for fun's palette. And it is like an extra nice shiny glittery wet look to it which I thought looked really cool which is another reason I wanted to do it now of course y'all know me I gotta go back in with my brush and kind of airbrush along the sides and make sure it transitions nicely because that's what we gotta do girl you want to look this way you gotta put it in the work 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 that means I'd be the best no but um on to the next shade I'm going to go over with the clean brush, well not clean, but the brush we used for the initial crease shading. Now we're going to go into the greens. So, I'm going to start off with Makeup Just For Fun's palette. And pat it on. Pat it on, girl. Pat it on. Pat it on, girl. Pat it on. Okay, yeah. So it's done. I got one more eyelid to do. Cause I know Adrian Game Over is ready to go. So I'm trying to get this one done. And I'm hoping my Muse palette has showed up today so that way I can, you know, film that tonight. So look how gorgeous that looks. We haven't even gotten to the inner corner yet. So I tried to make all the shades match to where the mattes ended. Except for the um, purple one, obviously, because I won't bring it that far back. But I was trying to start at the tail end and move a little bit to the green. I leave the majority of the green for the green. So now we're going to go into Angie's palette and start off with her shade to put in the inner corner. So I'm just kind of. Sorry, I hope y'all can't hear Asian K more. Oh, he danced to the screen with his uh, meta uh, thing on. He has one of those meta games to die for Christmas from his dad. That's what we're working with on this side. Now we need to dip into the iridescent special shade in Makeup Just For Fun's palette. So I'm doing that now. Hers seems like a bit softer and I feel like it doesn't pick up the same as Angie's does. I feel like Angie's, I can see when it's picking up. Whereas with hers, I feel like I'm like, did I pick it up? I don't know. I can't tell. So I want a little bit more of the green right here. I feel like that just came a little too high. So we just lightly tap all that to make sure it's not interfering too much and put a little bit more of the green on top to make sure the coloring is the same all around okay y'all dust over one more time Sorry about all the noises around, girl. I don't know what is going on out here in these streets. It's like I try to film everybody trying to make every type of noise that they can think of. But this is the finished eye look, combining both the Flora stories and the Hella palette. So that's what we're working with, girl, with all this going on here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are divers. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.